Hi, it's Professor Charlie Evans, and we're exploring the depths of the jungle in Reston, Virginia. People have been exploring the world around them for a lot of centuries now, both to find friends, both to find enemies, both to find better places to live. And in this unit of the course, we talk about the voyages of exploration undertaken by Christopher Columbus at the end of the 15th century. There have been major seagoing voyages of exploration before Columbus, namely those by the Chinese in the early 15th century. Okay, resuming the exploration into the depths of the forest, namely those by the Chinese Admiral Zheng He in the early 15th century. Those large-scale voyages reached the Indian Ocean, probably the East African coast, established trading colonies throughout the region. And so Columbus's voyages were not really unprecedented. And in fact, when we look at Columbus's voyage, Columbus setting sail on the three small boats, the of course, we know them as the Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria, accompanied by maybe a total of 80 men sailing westward across the Atlantic Ocean to reach the Bahamas. It's really an amazing feat. Um, it required an amazing amount of courage to undertake the voyage. And the thing that I've always found really fascinating is that they set out on the boats without really understanding who they were going to meet or where they were going to meet them and how they were going to communicate. It's one of the things that's always amazed me is that somehow they were able to communicate with one another um, and find some sort of language and some sort of way of translating from one language to another when there had been no contact before. It's truly amazing. And the same thing holds with the conquistadors as they invaded Mesoamerica and South America Sounds like some sort of technology has started up. As they invaded these areas, they had to find some way of communicating. And both Cortez, when he conquered the Aztecs and reached uh, what is now Mexico City, Tenochtitlan, um, he had to find a way of communicating. And when Pizarro subdued Atahualpa, and conquered the Inca Empire. He had a way of communicating. And so it's one of the amazing things about these voyages of exploration and voyages of exploration and societal contact throughout the world that we, when you study history, you got to understand that there is some way that societies have found ways to communicate with one another. It's really, truly amazing. And so you think about it today, people trying to study Spanish, French, Arabic, Chinese, before you formally studied, you had to figure out a way to communicate. And so it's one of those like lasting mysteries of history that we really don't talk about is the art of communication and the importance of communication in establishing the historical world. Now, the last thing I'm going to say about the voyages of Columbus and the other European explorations as we scan around here, the, the forest here in Reston, is that they set in motion a close to 500 year, half a millennium process that we call globalization. The linking of societies throughout the world to the other societies in the world. Whereas up until the late 15th century, societies could re remain relatively isolated from one another. By the 21st century, it's literally impossible to find societies that are completely isolated from the world from the society of the world around them and so that's the whole process of globalization that then takes place in history 112 or history 102 okay thank you